up guys welcome back to the channel this video is going to be a little different than normal it's going to be short and quick hopefully to the point but uh as you know this weekend's memorial day so i kind of want to make it quick short and simple but there's a video that i want you to watch just to kind of sum up the meaning because a lot of people don't really know the meaning of memorial day um but uh, I found this video on Instagram this morning from Jason. So uh, take a look at this video and, uh, and I'll be right back. A lot of friends who are fellow veterans who get all upset because there's a focus on Memorial Day, like, hey, barbecues and pool parties and travel and vacation and all these different things, sales, Memorial Day sales. I have a little bit of a different viewpoint. I'm like, hey man, enjoy all those things. I mean. I can't speak to every veteran, but for myself, I sacrificed and went and fought overseas against evil people so that my kids and my grandkids and anybody else in America that maybe, you know, had not gone and fought could have those freedom and opportunities so they could have those barbecues, so they could have those pool parties, so that, you know, Home Depot could have a blowout sale. So all I ask while you're enjoying those barbecues, while you're going to Home Depot and you're getting that new grill, take a couple of minutes and find someone. If you don't personally know someone who fell in war or who died of military service, go find someone. There's lots of websites that'll talk about amazing heroic Americans. Read about them, think about them. Talk to your kids and your grandkids about them and just say, you know what? We're gonna go have our pool party, we're gonna have our barbecue, but uh, this man or woman right here enabled us to have this and we should never forget that. So the biggest takeaway that I had from this video was not that people should feel bad for celebrating Memorial Day. And it's, it's, it's none of that. It's, we were given, we, I wasn't a war fighter. I, I didn't go overseas and fight a war or do anything like that. But did I support missions on the medical side for people to go do that? Absolutely. Um, that was one of the biggest um, things that I'm proud about doing when I was in the military, that I was able to be part of that support for those people to go out to make sure they were medically signed off for everything. Um, and so it was, it was an honor for us to do that. But moreover than that, I think the biggest takeaway that I had was on Memorial Day weekend, and it doesn't even have to be Memorial Day weekend, take 10 minutes, take 20 minutes to research someone who has fallen during wartime because what that does is it keeps their keeps their memory alive just like the murph if you guys aren't familiar with the murph challenge um lieutenant michael murphy he was a navy seal um and just look him up keep that's what i feel like that's what all of this is about so someone that i'm looking up this weekend and researching and looking into her story is um her name is shannon i can't remember her last name but if you go to black rifle coffee's um instagram page they they did like a, a documentary on her so what am i going to do to remember those military veterans who have paid the ultimate sacrifice i'm going to research them i'm going to look up what they did what they accomplished and just remember those people who died during combat and that's what that's what memorial day is all about the whole Thing that Jason was talking about like that's why we did what we did if you take anything away from that video take anything away from Memorial Day teach your kids teach yourself um, about the people who paid the ultimate sacrifice and uh, that's that's what Memorial Day is all about I kind of want to put this video out for you guys just so you can have something to remember, reflect on, and just keep those people, keep those people's memory alive. And that's what, that's what it's all about. So hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Go have those cookouts, go to those sales. Um, and yeah, and more than that, keep those people's memory alive. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.